Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns of Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the spell, Jim's Glowing Coin. Oh, 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 oh there, there, there was a coin. Did you see it? <laughs> You're not I'm impressed. Back, back with Jim. Yeah, um, you really hate this book, huh? <laughs> I don't. I, I hate Jim's Magic Missile in particular. Mm. No, I, I don't. I like the other things. Was uh, what were the other ones in this one? Nathair's mischief was that in here? Nope. Nope. Oh, all right. Well, I like that one. Inspirational okay. speech, I think, is a spell that's from this book. Something like that. It's yeah. uh, it's all right. I don't. I don't like knee reflex. Uh, hate everything in it. I just uh, I hate that one. And uh, this one, yeah, I hate this one. Okay, good. But uh, this but is not sec- for the same reasons. Okay, good. It's not this one's not hypoallergenic and gluten free yeah. so this is using the white wizards it's a second level spell it's enchantment cast time of an action range of 60 feet duration one minute so no but no concentration will that matter uh it requires somatic material components which requires a coin two gold coins which are consumed as a tax for using this spell which is just cruel because this spell is not it's not anything. When you cast the spell, you hurl the coin that is the spell's material component at any spot within range. The coin lights up as if under the effect of a light spell. Each creature of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of the coin makes a whiz saving throw or is distracted for the duration. And while distracted, the creature has disadvantage on wisdom perception checks and initiative rolls. That is all. Um, I guess there could be times when that's nope. useful, but no, but sure, not the case. There's <laughs> a second level spell, Bob. That you have an yeah, invisibility that, on the... the table. Do do initiative rolls even use the advantage disadvantage mechanic? They do. I don't know that. Advantages advantage is just a way to dictate the quantity of d20s you're rolling in the case yeah. of a roll. So yeah. anything can be rolled with advantage or disadvantage. It doesn't specify to ability checks, tech rolls, saving throws, right? That effect. To my knowledge, okay. I could be wrong. I might be talking about my ass here, but it still surely does not matter because you're never casting the spell. It's Second just not level, going to happen. Yeah, the, I mean, you get a, a two gold tax on it, but uh, yeah, the second level is the real cost here. Um, For what still... I, if I were DMing and I was ruling what would occur if someone cast light on a coin and threw it in the center of the room as a distraction, as like, oh, look at the shiny thing. And like, we're working with kobolds or some crap. That's the, just, I would give them disadvantage or wisdom protection checks, maybe. I just have them be distracted so people can sneak around better, right? Like, you don't, when do you use this? What's the point of this thing? I mean, the initiative is the only thing I can really think of, but that's I'm not blowing a second level spell on that. Like, imagine um, you're you're about to, you know you're about to go into a fight and you're like, oh, 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 I know. <laughs> I'm going to use a second level spell slot, the prep round before we enter a fight, to blow a second level spell slot for no real effect. No thanks. I'll just cast, like, a good spell? A proactive spell? A spell that buffs a teammate? I'll cast Bless over this? I'll cast, like, any other prep spell over this 100% of the time. You have to be in some. So you have to talk about walk yourself into a situation where you know a fight's about to break out. You know everyone's about to have a um, adv- make initiative. You throw a coin, and some of them will have disadvantage at the best case scenario. You can just hold one of them with hold person. You can just web them all. You can do any yeah. number of things to just debilitate them before the fight starts. You're never casting this. No. Um. Explain to me again. Where, what is this tax? Uh, the two. So it's three material components, basically. Two coins that are disappear into the aether for using it, and then the coin that you throw that is lit up that you get to keep afterwards. Right, right. I, I get, I get the mechanics of it. But what, what is the the tax? Like, is Jim getting this money? No, uh, Chris Perkins, I think, is getting this money. I I don't know what the in joke is. This is probably an in joke to an acquisition of the corporate moment. Yeah, <sighs> stupid. But that's not the crux of why I hate. I hate this because it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it, it is truly, truly awful. Now, listen, I'm on the table hating the initiative system. I don't use it very much. I tend to use team initiative, and I let my players decide in what order they go, and they all act in the same time, and then my monster locks at the same time. It's easier to organize. It allows for more strategic decision-making. It's really fun. It's the key point of it. it. It makes combats go so much faster. You don't have to juggle less. There's less forgetting things, because you can be like, oh, your familiar goes after you. and The monsters, you just, they all happen at once. There's no forgetting it, right? But, like... This will in be the, another video because I'm uh, I'm in camp individual initiative. I, I like it. It's heinous. 
<laughs> so boring and awful. And well, well yeah, that'll definitely be its own video. In that system, though, in the system that this is designed for, that I do run whenever I'm running rules is written, list like to the T, letter of the game, we're just playing DD 5D as it's intended. I still am not spending a second level spell slot on this. And if I am, I have no idea what environment that could possibly be. That I am deciding that this use of my action prior to getting into a fight is to throw this coin, spend three gold, and then hope things work out for us. Like, no. Uh-uh. I don't see it. I don't yeah, see it. I think it. we're in agreement on this. Um, yeah, there's not much else to talk about because it doesn't, doesn't do much. Um, is it managed perception so, checks? Right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, primarily this is for initiative. Uh, but yeah, the perception thing seems even less useful. It's way worse because there's a dozen things that do like give you a new tool to engage in that space. This doesn't give you a new tool to engage in the like they them perceiving things space. An illusion creates an entity into the world that you can do shady things with it. You can make convoluted plans that you can cover yourself while you're going somewhere. Someone knocking over a drink on a table will get heads to turn, which is a way that you can, for free, get behind people into a place you're not supposed to be, right? Like, that's just a regular thing that you can do that doesn't cost you anything. That's, you can... uh, yeah, that's up to discretion, though. That's not codified in the rules. That's... I would argue that this being codified in the rules makes all of the fun elements of D&D, &D, the improv seat of your pants, I will cast light on this coin and throw it across the room to get their attention, right? That moment doesn't need codified in this game language, nor does it need to cost a spell slot. Yeah. That's just a thing that can occur, and that will lead to moments where you're able to go places. If we're going to talk about codified language, things like invisibility give you the invisible condition, which is a, not technically a condition, but the, it gives you the benefits of being invisible, which things right. are blinded to you, which is a lot of other things to that effect, which is way, 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 well, way that's better. Well, that's where I was thinking this, uh, you know, that's when I was thinking it mattered. You got an invisible character, you need to distract them because, you know, they use their perception to detect invisibility, right? With disadvantage because they're blind to you. Yeah, all right. For the sound based stuff, maybe if your DM is a super stickler about it, I doubt your DM's going to be a super stickler about it. Also, just cause it like if if someone is throwing the coin, right? Like let's say you mm -hmm. are the wizard, you cast invisibility on yourself, and then you throw the coin. You are alerting everyone. Look at this lit up coin that is flying <laughs> from my position somewhere else. You have gone from they may not know I'm here at all to they are super aware someone invisible is nearby. Yeah. If you're just on your own. If you have a team there, you don't need it because the team can do the distraction. That's like a big part of the fun of the game is the silly nonsense the bark gets up to on stage, kicking over things and dancing on counters and all that crap to get people to not look at the guy that's going invisibly and picking everyone's pockets. There's a scene, there's an event that happens there, and this is supposed to contribute or take away from that in some way? I don't know. I don't get the point of this. There's no reason for it to exist. This is a waste of words and paper. Yeah, this I could think be a cantrip, right. but I'd be like, who cares? Ooh, I don't think it could be a cantrip. That, uh, what spamming initiative, uh, disadvantage that, that i think that leans into too powerful but um yeah it's, it's definitely not second level spell powerful i think uh, there's a real cost to alerting everyone around you that something is about to happen and i think it having a cost to it is like while it may not be a cantrip level of worthiness this effect doesn't deserve to exist in its current form and i would not print it again no, I think you're right. I mean, as far as the perception stuff goes, I mean, if as far as initiative goes, who cares? You're getting in a fight anyway. But uh, for the perception, yeah, you're not. You're distracting some people, but you're alerting everyone else. Yeah. You know, and then, uh, and then if I don't know if you do get a certain kind of DM, then you like, yeah, what you were saying before, they might not, uh, might not allow the. The fun kind of distractions. Uh, well, you have Jim's glowing coin for that. If, if you want to distract, that's uh, that's how you do it. You cough up the two gold pieces, buddy. So, yeah. I might now, be underplaying disadvantage on initiative in like the highest tiers. Whenever you have the spell slots to burn, I just really struggle to see a window where I'm ever excited to cast this prior to that. And I don't think I'm excited to cast it at that point, just because it. I, I don't I don't like it I don't like it Bob I think it's a bad spell I don't think it should exist. Um, yeah, can't argue. Maybe a one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It might not one. technically deserve a one. 
but I'm going to give it a one. Ah, I think it's got enough it, going against it to where, like, even even those little pockets of usefulness are outweighed by its overall badness for the game, perhaps? Maybe. The, the cost of using it is still very high whenever you're taking an action to not do another second level spell, so. Yeah, the second level. I mean, I was at a one from the beginning because it's second level. Yeah. It oh. is too expensive. All right. That, were you going to say something else? Did I? No, you know I'm. This spell uh, drains me. <laughs> All right. We'll never have to talk about it again I until it true. comes up in a in a in a worst video. We can't. It's we are the wizard, so it's off, it's off the hook for that. Wow. What? What? Who else gets this? That's it. Just wizards. Oh, just wizards. oh well. Nice try. You, you 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 scooted past that one, Jim's glowing coin. All right. Well, uh, thank you, Sam, and thank you for joining us. That was Jim's Glowing Coin. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it. A gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.